between the Republican and Democratic camps less than two weeks before the U.S. presidential election. Republican nominee John McCain has accused Democrat rival Barack Obama of already taking a victory lap by having an inaugural address prepared. It comes after the New York Times reported that Mr. Obama's team has already come up with a draft. The Obama camp has dismissed the charge as completely false. China says its economy is in good shape despite the global credit crisis. China News Service cited the central bank governor telling parliament that the country's financial system is stable. But Mr. Zhou Xiaochuan warned that Beijing needs to be on guard to fend off risks from the financial crisis. He said the central bank would work out a plan to provide emergency liquidity if necessary. You're watching Channel News Asia. A Chinese woman has been found dead in a shop house at Jalan Besar. Police say they received a call at 7.15 p.m. about someone who was injured at a unit along Flanders Square. She was pronounced dead by paramedics at 7.25 p.m. The 41-year-old, who's believed to be a Malaysian, was found fa lying face up on the ground floor of a three-story shop house fully clothed. Police say she sustained an injury to her upper body. They have classified the case as murder. Well, the auto industry here usually sees a peak in sales between October and January. And the economic downturn has not put the brakes on this, though dealers say customers who are buying prefer smaller cars. At the latest Certificate of Entitlement tender earlier this week, premiums for cars above 1,600cc dropped by almost 50% to $7,589. Now, that was largely due to more buyers downgrading. The showroom at Ubi says sales of smaller cars have risen 30% compared to this time last year. And you have more news for you on Asia Today at 3.